How's it going, YouTube? It's been Lisa here coming at you with a dab ban list prediction. Um, kind of something I'm going to do every couple of months. Just going to go over what's going to be healthier with the meta, what's going to be, you know, going to happen, what's going to crash, what's going to burn, what's going to get bigger, what's going to get better. Um, let me go over a few things. Uh, I know this ban, li this ban list looks kind of like what? But yeah. But let me go over my thoughts on this and. Okay. Lone Fire Blossom, I say Lone Fire Blossom needs to get hit because there's a new deck out there called Shinra's, which this card can focus on and attributes it and special summons any plant type monster from your deck. And this card alone has always been really good, especially with Miracle Fertilizer. This card, special summon Miracle Fertilizer, Lone Fire Blossom, tribute it off, destroy Miracle Fertilizer, special summon another monster, and just keep going on from there. Um, Ban Thunder King. I think Konami might ban Thunder King because, you know, Thunder King just shuts down Spellbooks and it's a first turn win condition anyway, plus it negates a summon. That's why there's cards like Mistake out there. There's cards like, there's cards like that. They're trying to uh, promote Mistake, I think, because, let me look it up. Yeah, they're going to try and promote Mistake, so banning Thunder King would be essential. And... Since Mistake is pretty expensive right now, I suggest you pick it up while you can, or get it out of the out of the pack while you can. Just keep going on it, and it's a Shadow Specters card, so it's pretty good. <laughs> um, Six cents. I don't really see the necessariness of banning it, but I would make I would think that it's a good idea because, you know, Light Swarms are good now um, with this card. Dragon Rulers can use Six Cents. A lot of decks that are graveyard reliant, especially in the new plant decks, do you honestly think Konami's going to let six cents stay around? Just mill all your cards off or draw a whole bunch of them? I mean, think about that. You know what I mean? Um, Royal Tribute, uh, they hit it to one last format, and I see why they hit it to one, because of the new Gravekeeper support out there. <laughs> Trust me, the new Gravekeepers are nasty. I'm going to show you my deck profile pretty soon on the on the new list. Um, Charge the Light Brigade, I can see this being hit like really hard because, you know, light swarms are light swarms, and with all the new support and they're trying to bring them out, it's either gonna go to one, it's either gonna go to two, or it's gonna go to zero. It's this card's on the flip side; it's gonna be on the side of the coin. Nobody knows what it's gonna do. Return from a different dimension. Oh my God, this card has to die in a fire. Uh, Return from a different dimension. Um, let me. There's no way that this card can stay around for another year, because Return from Different Dimensions been around for ages, and it needs to be hit bad, because Dragon Rulers and Light Swarms, Plants, anything that banishes, this card brings it back. It's good. It's too good. And Gold Sarcophagus. Dragon Rulers get their effects off when it's banished, so Gold Sark, bye bye. Um, Rescue Rabbit, I like Rescue Rabbit, um, but with all the new support and new decks coming out, I don't know if this card will stay around, plus Evil Swarms can use it. Uh, Dino Rabbits are still a thing, so not many people are playing it anymore, but it's still a thing. So any deck that can run more multiple vanillas, Rescue Rabbit will probably die, and it's it'll be a sad day when my Rescue Rabbit goes away. Um, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, I can see this going to one because it makes dra it really does. Ma I'm ra I'm ragging on Dragon Rulers a lot, but Dragon Rulers are still too good of a deck. And I'm trying to help, you know, promote other decks, you know, bring stuff back, maybe bring some older decks back into light. Just trying to kill Dragon Rulers in a fire. Um, this card banishes one, draws two cards. Also, it's a plus two. It's a plus two in Dragons. So, yeah, this card needs definitely to go. It's basically a free pot of greed. Yeah. Um, I can see this going to one... Uh, Evil Swarm Caster because Evil Swarms and Constellars kind of need to die to fire. Um, Evil Swarm Caster, it's another one that normal summons another in addition to the normal summon or set, and it's really, really good. Uh, 
it's like house he's the engine for you know creating um Constellar Pleiades and Kaos just kind of pop pop level level big five so yeah it's <laughs> it's one of those cards that just needs to be hit I'm sorry it just needs to go to one cards that need to go to three I think the only thing left is TG Striker or Mizuki I think those are the only two left that need to go to three that are uh, Reborn Tango I think yeah those are the only two other cards that need to go to three uh, reason why? No idea, just to bring TGs back to the game. They won't do much, they're not really that well, they're not really that good. And now let's see the ones that need to come back to one. I would love to see this, but I doubt it will ever happen. Elemental Hero Stratos. I'm a big time hero fan, I love heroes. And heroes are my deck, they're one of my favorite decks. And heroes need to come back. This guy needs to come back. I need. I actually need one of them. I used to have a Stratos, and I miss it. But anyway, Heavy Storm has to come back. These people setting multiple back row. These people going, oh, Thunder King set four. Good game. Yeah, Heavy Storm does need to come back. Because we have cards like um, Starlight Road. And we have cards like Stardust that people can use to negate it. I mean, come on, why not, you know, this these two cards people used to run in their, I used to run Starlight Road in almost every one of my decks I had because people ran stuff like Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, Torrential Tribute. I mean, come on now. Like, what is this, like, so bad about Starlight Road and Th Stardust Dragon that we can't have Heavy Storm? You know, you have cards like Dark Bribe, you know, you got stuff like that. And one of my personal fan favorites is Trishula. I missed this card back when I first began, began playing in the uh, competitive forum, back when I first started on my channels, my old channel. Um, I was playing Trishula Plants. And this card I would always get out first turn consistently. Just bam, bam, bam. Um, yeah, let me guys know what you guys think of my uh, bandless prediction, The this little segment that I'm doing. Um, if you guys like it, uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Peace out.